Essentially Victorian picture at uh, 107 by 66 and a half centimetres. It's a fantastic size and its credentials for sale are, are just excellent. Uh, it's remained in the one Melbourne family since it was purchased in 1971. Uh, it was exhibited at the Athenaeum Upper, Upper Hall in the, in the year it was painted in 1904 and again recently it was on loan, long-term loan, to the Bendigo Art Gallery from 2010 to 2016. If one digs a little deeper, it becomes apparent that it's actually a very significant painting in the overall body of work from McCubbin. Uh, 1904, the year it was painted, uh, he painted The Pioneer in that year, which is uh, a much loved and very moving three panel settler narrative, which has been thrilling visitors to the NGV um, for over a hundred years. They acquired that painting in, uh, in 1906 via the, the, Pel the Felton bequest. The relationship to the Pioneer is not just a peripheral one. Uh, if you look at the right-hand panel in the Pioneer, it actually resembles pastoral very closely in terms of its perspective, its colour, its tone and its subject matter. So what we have in pastoral is a museum quality McCubbin painting and uh, there really aren't many pictures of this calibre by McCubbin that remain in private hands. Uh, I think it will be on the radar of public institutions, possibly a regional gallery uh, who's looking to acquire a, a major McCubbin for, for their collection. The Impressionists, McCubbin, Tom Roberts, Arthur Streeton, John Peter Russell, Charles Condor, uh, they've really come into focus in, in, the, in the last two or three years and we're seeing some exceptional prices paid. Um, there was a major exhibition, Australia's Impressionists, at uh, the National Gallery in London late last year and early this year, which has drummed up a bit of international interest as well. Is the painting good value at five hundred to seven hundred thousand uh, dollars? An estimate is always subjective. We balance up the expectations of the seller with what the market could expect to pay or what they find attractive in terms of an estimate. What I can say about this painting is that it, it holds its own with any McCubbin which has sold for up to a million dollars at auction in the past. Uh, it's certainly the best McCubbin which Menzies has handled in the last decade. We sold a very large painting of his childhood fancies of 1907 in, in September 2007 for close to two million dollars. So uh, in that respect it's the best painting we've had by him for a decade. Uh, it also compares very favourably with a smaller later painting entitled Spring Morning which sold for $500,000 on the hammer in our recent May auction.